Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, firstly, I just want to thank everybody for all their support and nice comments on the last video regarding my health and all the private messages I've had. Uh, it's really appreciated, people. Um, so it's an ongoing battle with what I've got. Uh, sometimes it's hard, it affects my mood and my motivation. So yeah, sometimes it's hard to get a video up. So I'm gonna persevere and uh, try and get a video out for you every week. So onto the subject this week, um, I've got to do a review on the new max spec jump range, the uh, gyro flow pump, the 4K. Now there's two, well there's lots of uh, new equipment from max spec, this new range which they're calling the jump range. And um, basically they've got wave pumps, skimmers, return pumps, etc. You check out online. There's lots of hype about these new wave pumps, these new gyre pumps, and there's many videos on YouTube popping up now. Now I suspect that most of these videos that are coming up are sponsored videos. So this is going to be a sort of my lowdown on what I think of these new Max Spec Jump Flow pumps. Um, you know, honest review of what they're actually like. Now, obviously, for this tank. Flow is uh, was obviously on the agenda to, to bump up the flow in this tank. There simply wasn't enough flow. So I've had over the years been reefing probably what, near twenty or five odd years now. So a long, long time. I've had my fair share of uh, wave pumps. I've had pretty much all of them to be honest. Um, from the the cheap Jbo Jcod ones right there through to sort of the Ecotech, Vortec. MP series. Now for this tank I had a couple of wave pumps from my little nano that I popped on here and like I say simply wasn't enough flow so I needed to beef it right up. So choice wise what did I go for? I thought you know let's give these, I've ne never had a gyre pump before and uh, I thought we've well, got to give one a go and obviously there's a few offerings on the table from different companies. Um, <clears throat> first one being uh, the go-to one I was going to go for is the Red Sea one, which does look really impressive. Don't really need the uh, it to be you know controlled through an, an app. Not really a big fan of app-controlled uh, modules on the tank. So and it's quite pricey the Red Sea ones, comparative to this new jump range by Max Spec. So I thought let's have a look. Uh, see what they're like and I do like the, the fact that this isn't Wi-Fi controlled at all it's just got a dedicated controller a nice big controller uh, so I thought I'd jump in with uh, <laughs> pardon the pun with going with one and um, there's two versions there's a 2k and the 4k the 2k one is sort of seven and a half thousand liters an hour full chat and this obviously the, the 4k one is uh, is 15,000 liters full chat now Size-wise, physical presence in the tank, the 4K one's not that much bigger than the 2K one, so I thought I can always, if it's too much, I can always dial it down. So price-wise, you're looking at uh, around 200 pounds for this 4K one, and it's not much of a saving, really, if you're going half the power. So I think the small one, the 2K one's around the sort of 145, 150 quid mark. Uh, so it seems sense just to go for the bigger one. Um, so yeah, I mean, I had a choice of what you know, I could have gone for a J cod, yeah, the, the J cod ones, the SOW 15, which is 15,000 litres an hour, is literally 95 odd quid, 9,500 pounds, um, which is really, really good value. But reliability wise, although I've had no issues with J cod, I think you know, over the years I've had pretty much all of them, and they've all for me been very reliable and uh, got good longevity to them. Um, my son's obviously run, running, if you follow his channel, uh, he's running a few as well. And again, no, no real issues. I think the big issue with the J-Cods is, uh, especially the smaller ones, unless you're running them higher power, if you're running them low flow, the motors don't tend to, to last. They seem to burn out. But um, yeah, anyway, so going for choice wise in this tank, we went for this max spec jump. Um, so my impressions of it so far, it's been running quite some time. I'll get the camera off the tripod and give you a little show around of, every, of the controller and everything. Um, it's been running probably a couple of months now. And as you can see, all the Coraline 
encrusting on it. You see in this light, I've got no filter on the camera, um, but here it is on this side and the controller just up here. It's quite a basic controller, it looks complex. You've got lots of different modes you can run through. I just run mine on a pulse mode, as you can see here with the ramping of the percentage here. Sort of one second, I think it's half a second pulse on, half a second off, or down to 10%. Now there's, I think five different modes. One's a random mode, one's a slow ramp up, slow ramp down, one's a continuous, and one's a reverse mode. Now, that reverse mode is, initially you think, well, that's quite a good idea so you can reverse the jar flow around the tank, but the way that the fins on the propellers uh, are positioned, you don't get hardly any flow going in the reverse um, setting. Uh, so I find that's kind of pointless, really. Um, the other thing uh, that's good about this, actually, uh, is that you can angle individually each side of the pump. So you can have, like I've got here, them staggered. So this side is giving a, uh, a sheet of water flow to the top surface and round this way. And then the other side is sort of going down onto the rockscape and back up round. Um, I've got to experiment a little bit more with with the positioning of the uh, the direction of the flow of this pump, but it seems to be quite uh, quite good at the way it is at the moment. As you can see, the surface agitation there from that left side pulsing across. Now the annoying thing with these pumps is that you can't get a really nice wave effect on the surface of the water like you do most of the other pumps because the settings don't really allow you to and I think it's the way that the, the water flow comes out of the pump at, uh, in a sheet sort of motion that you can't get a really nice sort of wave effect that you like, you like to get um, sometimes so yeah that's a bit of a disappointment really with most of these other wave pumps, especially if they're strong enough, you, you know, with the j -Cod, you can get a really nice pulsing up and down, up and down flow motion. But I guess that these pumps aren't really designed for that type of flow. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm, I'm quite impressed with it, uh, especially at the price point. Would I buy another one? I don't know. Maybe another one the other side. The trouble is they are quite unsightly and they do obstruct the view. This side isn't too bad because when you come in the room, so you don't see this side. So the destruction of view of uh, sort of the scape and that isn't isn't uh, that important. But this side it is important. We've got this small TMC reef tide one on here. I think it's eight thousand liters an hour. Um, so obscuring a view is quite good because it's quite a small form factor. But if I had another gyre on this side, it definitely sort of spoil I think the view. So yeah, would I buy another one? I don't think so. All in all, um, I think probably I, won't, I am going to you know, put another wave pump on this this tank, and I'll probably go for another Jayco, the fifteen thousand liter one, simply because the price point and uh, that you can get that nice wave motion throughout the tank, sort of that up and down uh, flow, which is what I'm after creating really, as opposed to sort of sheeting flow like this is so these are very popular at the moment everyone seems to be raving on about these gyre pumps um, but yeah it's just one of those things you have to try on your tank obviously they're a bit diff be different on different you know different size systems um, but this being like 260 270 litre system is probably going to uh, be a good comparison to you know most tanks out there so yeah other wave pumps in here we've got this Tunzi one in the corner from the Nano. Now Tunzi pumps, are, wave pumps, just, well anything they do actually is just so well built and so reliable. This little 60-40 wave pump I've got in the corner here, such small profile really and it doesn't stick out in the tank, you can hide it right up into the, the surface of the water sort of there out the view of the main scope. So when you look at a tank like this you don't really see it. Um, yeah they're so reliable. This, this little pump I've I've cleaned out probably four or five times in 
nearly two years, uh, and that's not you, you know not vinegar dipping it or vinegar bathing it. Just literally brush out with a, a toothbrush and the, the supplied brush you get with it, and it just seems to yeah just be seem to be so reliable. Now another thing to consider is when you're going for which size pumps you go for as well. Now do remember that when um, as time goes on they do slow down they're not as powerful you know after a, you clean them out after a few weeks a month they do slow right down to maybe sort of anything up to 50 percent sometimes so unless you're cleaning it out every week you're never going to get the full quoted flow power um, so you know i'm glad i went for this larger one because the smaller one simply wouldn't be enough um, control the controller going back to the controller again it's a good little control, I say little control, it's quite a large controller, it's really easy to use. And uh, yeah, it's the only annoying thing is that you, you can't get it, some of the functions don't allow you to get that really intense pulsing of the water up and down. Um, so yeah, that's my honest review on the uh, the new max spec jump range. Say so a lot of the uh, videos on YouTube are probably sponsored. Uh, say so we have no sponsorship here, I bought this obviously with my own money. And uh, so it's an honest review of what I think of it. And having had lots of wave pumps over the years, um, say it's okay. Um, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I'd recommend it, but there's obviously a lot of uh, alternatives on the market. And to be honest, let's say I probably wouldn't buy another one. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks again. Obviously, new to, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and that bell if you enjoyed the video um, gives a thumbs up it really helps me out guys and uh, I hope to get a video out to you every week from now on thanks for watching folks and I will catch you in the next one